today we're going to talk about Spectre. And even though the Spectre itself is a quite rare morph so far, the one I'm holding here is even more rare. So this is our beloved Hypo IMG Jungle Spectre. Hi, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Stefan and this is Imperator Morphs. So now we switched out the beautiful female we had in the intro to this beautiful Hypo Spectre male from 23. So what is the Spectre? The Spectre is a boa morph that consists of Ralph Davis Reptile's Black-Eyed Anry and VPIT Positive. So it's a double recessive morph. So it's two copies of the Black-Eyed Anry and two copies of the VPIT Positive. This one also being Hypo, so the Hypo Melanistic. We here at Imperator Morphs has most likely produced the most Spectres, but there are still quite few. But we are still to produce one not containing Hypo. Though what we've seen, we really think that the Hypo complements the Spectre in such a nice way. So just have a look at this stunning creature. Uh, it's just lovely. So light, the pitch black dark eyes from the Black Eyed Henry, the pinks in the tail, and just the white shimmer. This is one of our true favorite projects. As mentioned in previous videos of the Boa University Breeder series, the multi-recessive combos is going to take you quite some time to produce if you're going to be first. So the journey for us to start creating Spectres started in the season 1920, where we bred a VPI to Black Eyed Anery to create the heads. And then in 23, we produced the first visual ones. And that's the case when it comes to all multi recessive combos. It's going to take time, but when you look at this, it's so well worth the wait. If we then look back at the past seasons, 23, we made a few ones, 24, we made a few more ones. This season we have been super unlucky with the odds. We have still been breeding heads to heads. We most likely could have used this boy this season, but decided to give him another year. But he's definitely going to have a date when the winter comes. But let me put this little boy back and let's have a look at some of the visuals from 24 that is just waiting to be shipped out to the US in the coming weeks. So this one is the completely the same as the male we just saw. So this is a Hypo Spectre female from 24, but was thinking that we... Let's show off a few different animals so you get an idea. But they are just stunning. Uh, she has a little bit more black on the sides. But it's the same, the pink in the pattern, and yeah, the black eyes, just stunning animal. But let's have a look at her sister where we're adding jungle. So in this one we have jungle added, so this is a hypo jungle specter. And hopefully we can see this on camera now, like the striping on the side that is completely pink. She is like fully white on the dorsal, uh, some blacks in the side, but also like so much pinks in the side, uh, like with the stripe that is really pink on the sides. And also, like the tail. The tail. Now she was not super happy, but yeah, the tail we have so much pink in. Unfortunately, the Super Hypo Spectre from 23 is in deep shed, uh, so not much to look at. But we have this beauty, the only visual Spectre that we produced this season. And this is also a Super Hypo Spectre and a male. We are regretting a little bit that we actually sold the Super Hypo Spectre male from last season, so this one is going to stay here, so unfortunately we're not going to have any visual specters available this year, as it looks. But we have some beautiful animals that are head specter that we can have a look at. So, for example, this IMG head specter. So this is an IMG 100% head for VPI T positive and Ralph Davis Reptile Black Eyed Henry. Female, born in 24, 
quite late one. One thing that we can say about the Spectres, and I think this goes for everything that is Black Eyed Annery, especially, is that they are usually quite feisty as young. You can tame them, but as you can see, a little bit feisty, and but just handle with care, don't be afraid, and everything will work out just fine. If you want us to make a video about how to handle and tame feisty young boas, how to get them comfortable, and so you're able to work with them when they are a lot bigger, because when they are this small, it's no issues at all taking a bite, but as big females, it's not super fun. So if you want to see a video like that, drop that down in the comment, but let's continue to have a look at some head specter animals. So this is the only male that's available uh, from uh, 24. So this is a hypo jungle, 100% head specter. So quite a nice one to have if you're looking to get into the specter project. As with all newer multi-recessive combos, they for sure aren't cheap, but the heads is still quite affordable, I believe. But if you want the visual, you're most likely is going to have to pay up quite a bit. And before we get into looking at the most exciting things for the future of the Spectre projects, in our opinion, uh, we can go over a little bit like when you're breeding head to head, before you have the possibility to breed a visual to the head, so everything that comes out is either visual or 100% head. You're breeding head to head, and then when you're not getting visuals, then you're getting stuff like this. So this is a black devil. The black devil is an IMG black eyed anery. And since it's not a visual VPI, it comes from breeding head to head. So head VPI T positive black eyed anery to head VPI T positive black eyed anery. But then you're getting animals like this. So the black devil, the IMG black eyed anery. And it's a 66% shot that it is HET for VPI. So it's a pass HET Spectre. But just wanted to show, uh, stunning. And you don't need to taste my finger, please. But yeah, already like the Black Devils. This is just out of second shed. Another shed, it's going to be pitch black. And here we have one of the animals that I am most excited about that we produce this season. Phenotype wise, aka the visual of the animal, not the most special, but for the future, this is so special. So this is an Hypo IMG Labyrinth Head Spectre. Unfortunately, it was a really small litter and it was the only Labby IMG that came out of it. But we're lucky that it's a male, so we're not going to have to wait for five years. And the reason that I said that this is one of the ones that I'm absolutely most excited about this season is that I can't wait to see the Hypo IMG Labyrinth Spectre. As we saw in the intro with the female from 23, the Hypo IMG Jungle Spectre, how amazing that is. With Labby, it's most likely going to keep a little bit lighter. And I really believe that they are going to be stunning. But with that, we also produced labyrinths that are 100% head specter. Very few is going to be available, but let's have a look at one. So I definitely feel that we're bringing out all the happy campers today. This uh, guy definitely wasn't happy to be disturbed, but uh, he just have to deal with it for the moment. So this is a labyrinth, 100% head specter. And we can already see the influence of the het black eyed anery, how it already affects the colorations. He almost looks anaturistic. You still have a little bit of brown in the tail, but otherwise it's a completely different coloration on the whole animal compared to like the normal labby. With this, we also have, I'm not sure if this really shows on camera, but the sides are super pink and this most likely has to come with because the dad of this litter is one of the absolute most insane VPI labbies uh, we ever seen. The coloration is extraordinary. So I definitely feel like when we see the labby specters later on, 
what we've seen before regarding the pink coloration is nothing compared to what we're going to see then. So I think that's it for today. I'm going to turn my focus on this little fellow, get him to calm down before putting him away, giving him a good experience instead of just being super mad as it is right now. Please comment below your thoughts about the Spectre project and if you're not already done it, hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. It's highly appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this, maybe you will like one of these videos.